Good morning, Fort McMurray with Buffalo and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I'm your host, Elliot Pierre. And we're going to start this episode off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know that you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. How's it going, you guys? It's Jake White, JJW, uh, coming at you from uh, Norrell Toyota in Fort McMurray. Uh, just wanted to say hi and come on down, check the place out. Hi, my name's Richard. I'm the service manager here at Norrell Toyota. Hi there, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm here at Norrell Toyota. I'm a product advisor. Hi, I'm Cass. I'm the appointment coordinator. Happy to help you. Hey, it's Keith Simpson here. I'm the general manager of Norrell Toyota, soon to be Fort McMurray Toyota. Pretty excited for a new dealership. As you've seen, you met all my staff. These guys are all my family. We're here to take care of you. Come on down and be part of our family. Come join us every Saturday from 7 till close at Avenue Eatery and Cafe to play board games and help raise money for the stallery. And we are back. Big shout out to our title sponsor, Noral Toyota. We really do appreciate your ongoing support. As you know, I don't introduce my guests because they can do a better job of that than myself. So, sir. Can you please tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? I'm Dave Levin. I'm the content manager for Visit Tucson. I've been here for about four months. I'm, I'm from Tucson, Tucson local. Okay. Spent time in LA. Yeah. Uh, then ended up in Treeport, got sole custody of my son, moved back to Tucson about six years ago and nice. I love I love being back. So nice. yeah, I've been a media guy and, and podcast guy and all that stuff. And yeah and happy to, to do it for Tucson and get people over out here. That's awesome. Now, with all As of your I travels, cheese it up right that's now. Right, no, no, hey, hey, that's why we're here. We're trying to get people excited about Tucson. It's Absolutely. a beautiful community, man. I've been walking around. I got some like cool stuff already. The one thing that you pointed out earlier, and everybody at home can't see it, continue to follow the videos to find out, the murals in this community and the street art and the graffiti is awesome. Yeah. It's next level here. Yeah, it's, I think a lot of art, it's just an artist community. I think that yeah. there's a lot of, and, and, and the thing about this community that differs than others is that these artists just want to be artists. They, they, right. they just do it. They don't care about the fame, the fortune, any of that stuff. That's right. They really just, they do it because they, they want to, they right. want to succeed. They want to, um, they need to do it. Their soul needs to do That's it. That's right. That is amazing. Yeah. Like I'm a big fan of graffiti and I know. For years, when I was younger too, like graffiti was like a bad thing. You didn't want it. People wanted to get it off their their walls and their shops and everything. But like every once in a while, like you look at it, you're like that that's art. That's like just oh, yeah, look at it sure. as, like from a different lens. And what's cool about like as kind of time goes on, people are viewing. Oh well, actually, is T art. Tucson actually funds different various uh, mural projects. Oh no way! Yeah, for sure, it's a big it's a big priority here in Tucson. That's for sure, so you, cool. you'll see it. I mean, there's there's graffiti walks all over the place, or not graffiti mural mural works. Yeah. Let's let's give them the credit that they deserve yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah no there's tons of art here and we're, we're, we're fans of it yeah you know? yeah as as well as Mexican food and and you're also in a really cool place the Monica yeah we're about to meet the owner and the chef here and I'm gonna sit down and chat with them so that's gonna be exciting now you born and raised here but then, raised but yes yeah. but then yeah. you traveled around yeah and so then you came back and you've been here for six years now. Yeah. So man. obviously this community to you is somewhere that you want to invest like your time and your life. Yeah, so you what know. What about this community? Why are you, why are you here? Well, okay. <laughs> Long story. I'm, I'm going to give you, I, I, like I couldn't wait. When I was 18, I couldn't wait to get the hell out. I couldn't right. wait to get the fuck out. You yeah, know? Yeah. But I went to Phoenix four years there, or three and a half years there. Went to LA. Couldn't wait. Yeah. Never thought I'd move back. And then, you know, life gives you curveballs. Yeah. You move back. And frankly, I love being back. I love Tucson because it's just a cool community. It's not, it's like that perfect middle city. It's not too big. Yeah. And it's not too small. There's tons of shit to do. There's yeah. great fucking food. There's yeah. Such good food. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like in everything from like the down and dirty tacos. Have you, have you heard of like a Sonoran dog? Yes. Oh my God, bro. There's a you whole segment. One? I haven't had one. Tomorrow, you guys are having like uh, an event yes. at uh, the courthouse. Oh, we and, are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're going to be the, like, listen. Oh, we are? Oh, hot I'm dogs. going. I don't dogs. usually go to events, yeah. but I'm definitely going if there's free hot, uh, free 
of hot dogs. Do, yeah. you, want, do you want me to tell you what's in? Go. To like, listen, okay. there's another clip, but yeah, let's hear this twice because this is going to be amazing. So, in a hot, it's not, it's a hot dog, but it's a little bit more. Yeah. It's a full meal. So what you do is you you wrap the the, the hot dog in bacon. Right. So you start off, you start off strong, right? Yeah. Then you get beans, you get... <laughs> You get onions, you get like, then they'll give you like, you know, chilies maybe That's and all right. this stuff. I mean, dude. And I hear the bread is sourdough bread, like yeah, a sourdough-ish type of bread. It's, it, you want soft bread. Yeah. Like a soft I listen, heart. bro. I am you a need, You need fan of soft, hot dogs. delicious bread. And yeah, this, yeah. this bread freaking melts in your mouth. And if it doesn't, yeah. you need to go somewhere else. That's right. Yeah. It's so, all about, it's a huge part of it is the bread. I'm a huge, like, I, and everybody at home watches it all. My close friends know how big of a hot dog dude I am. So when I was chatting with uh, one of your colleagues earlier, and he's like, hey, tomorrow's event. And I was like, yeah, I'm excited for it. He's like, oh, we're going to have this type of food and this hot dog. I was like, I'm not only showing up to this event, I'm coming early. And yeah, 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 for gonna sure. Eat numerous. Amount yeah, of yeah, things. yeah. Well, that and then like, dude, you get that a beer, man. Yeah. I mean, it's that's too so. It's, it's called, called heaven. heaven. Yeah. You also get tacos, birria tacos. Yeah. Also, what? So, the one thing that this family um, really is is known for yeah. is uh, their carne seca, which is okay. a region. It's it. It's a Sonoran region yeah. uh, Mexican delicacy. Okay. It's basically like jerky beef, but it is flavorful. It's delicious. You put it in a chimichanga. You put yeah. it in a taco. You put yeah. it. I had it. They have uh, here at the Monica. They have it. I had it just. I had their machaca and Brussels sprouts, and it was freaking oh, amazing. I love a good Brussels sprout. Yeah, yeah. but. But with jerky beef on top of it is yeah. like a flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh yeah, 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 my friend. Yeah. Oh Tanner yeah. Tanner looks very excited over there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why, where is he going? I think he's ordering one. Yeah, yeah that's anyway. right. So you mentioned at the beginning of the podcast, you do podcasting, or you been no, on no, the podcast so so or? mostly just social media. I'm okay. I'm just handling that uh, Instagram, but. No, we haven't done any uh, podcasts. I, I used to do stand up back in the day. You did stand up? Back in the day, yeah, long, long, long. I'm a like, huge fan of stand up. Like 12, 12 years ago, yeah. Okay. And like, where? How did that start? In, L like in LA, a lot of my friends were comedians, and then I, st I wanted to write and right? do comedy. I was Larry David's like a huge fan. Uh, like, I'm a huge fan of his. Yeah. Uh, and. And I wanted to write sitcoms. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Okay. So yeah, I did. I did stand up. I performed okay. with a ton. I mean, like Tom Segura, Bert Kreischer, like, like, yeah, like all those guys. Yeah, I wanted to cast Bert in a movie, like back yeah, in the yeah. day, before he was big, like yeah, the Machine. I went. <laughs> I went. Yeah, dude. I I know the Machine. Or I used to know the Machine. I have not talked to him in years. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Right when his youngest daughter was born yeah. I, I we, we we I went to Springsteen with him and I yeah. went to some other concert with yeah. him so yeah no he's he one of my best friends John Moore who uh hey how are you I've good to yourself. see you good to see you good to Hi, see how are you, you? Good. Welcome in. Um, yes. Are, they, are the boys bringing out stuff already? Uh, no, they they haven't. They're gonna bring it out next. I think they're gonna do a podcast with them. Yeah, oh, we're doing wow. a podcast right now. You're in it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, yeah, and I don't edit, so you're actually in it. What's your name? Amy. Yeah. Amy. Right, Amy. Okay. I'll check on them. There we go. Sorry. Thank you, Amy. No, don't be sorry. Thank you for making the podcast better. So okay, so you've hung out and like perform with some amazing yeah kind of, like, like a new like anywhere from like Andy Samberg yeah. to um, I don't know just a ton I well, mean, what like, was your process <laughs> like are you a guy who's like, just like having a conversation like we're having right now are you a writer or like yeah you... so I would come up uh, I would come up I would kind of write jokes yeah. in my in my mind right. I'd write notes I wouldn't want to so I would get I would get flustered yeah. when you would uh, try to get words exactly right. That's right. So I would want to think about like how to do it in the context. Yeah. So and and that's what's kind of helped me with social media is because I I'm used to working with an audience, so right, that right, right. kind of helps. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I mean, listen, it was it was good. I miss it. Yeah. I wish I could do it again, yeah. but you know. Well, we like, come out. We're gonna throw it to an ad. <laughs> Enjoy this ad, and we'll be right back. Hi everyone, it's Carrie with Patchouli Rose here at Thickwood Barbershop. If you're wondering what to get your loved one this season for Valentine's Day, 
I make an all-natural anti-aging skin serum called Good Skin. It's good for men and women, and it's available for purchase here at the barbershop, downtown at the corridor shops and events, and on my website. Thank you for your support. And we're right back. Okay, is there like not a comedy scene at all that's here in Tucson that a you A little bit, but yeah, man, I'm a single dad. I gotta... <laughs> <laughs> gotta yeah, focus yeah. on, yeah, late on the night day. hours doing that. Yeah, thing doing not, that yeah. shit. I mean, listen, I love it. I miss it. Yeah, big time. But yeah, yeah it was, it was How crazy. How old is your son? Ten. So I got okay. eight years. You got, uh, <laughs> you got a little bit of time there. Yeah, 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 a few more years, and then yeah. Do you are you a dad as yeah, well? Yeah, I have an eight-year-old. An eight-year-old eight boy. He's the best. Keegan. Keegan. Yeah. Oh, it's a good name. Oh, thank My you, girlfriend's man. kid is named Keegan. There you go. It's good. It's a great name. What does your son like to do? He does a little bit of everything. We're getting him into baseball. Okay. Um, he's a huge, a huge into Legos. Okay. Legos, Legos what, building. What kind of uh, Legos? Is there? Is, and, he, is he like freestyling it, or does he like? He'll get. get the kit he and loves along? having the kit and like, you know, like that's like his like happy place. Like get that's a great. kit and then he'll just yeah. build something. Yeah. But yeah, those things are expensive. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I fuck. If Lego wants to sponsor me, like, hey, send yeah, me some seriously. Lego for my kid, please. Dude, I fucked myself so bad. Yeah. I, uh, so every birthday, I take him to, like, to Target to, like, you know, for a gift, pick out your gift, yeah. you know. And, you know, I was like, yeah, we want it, like, 100, you know, 100, 150, you know, yeah. keep it under 200. Yeah. And so, of course, my ge inner geek came out. Oh, he was no. like, he That's was like, Dad. Look at this, and it yeah. was like a R two D two. It was oh, two over two hundred dollars. I know exactly what you're talking you about. You know that R two D two yeah. Lego thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he yeah. was like, I was like, oh, that's awesome. He's like, really? And I was like, oh, oh fuck. no, yeah, I'm over. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hilarious. it's like you're fucking done. Yeah, you yeah. gotta say yes. That's you just right. gotta buy your you're, son you're that, done. or you're a terrible yeah. dad. I am dreading the day, and he doesn't watch this podcast, so I can say. It. But when I was a kid, I always wanted that huge pirate ship. And we go into Lego, and we see it, and I see it, and it's expensive. And if he ever makes the move to be like, hey, that's a cool pirate ship. And we're like, yeah, you want that? <laughs> <laughs> His dad kind of wants it. So, Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. It's a problem. It's not cheap. Dude. It's an expensive. They, like, yeah. They've done quite a job of marketing themselves with cheap Plastic. What, pl yeah. Cheap plastic. Yeah, I watched a documentary. I don't know what it's called. I, I wish I could. Maybe I'll figure it out and put it in the link below. But I watched a documentary about Lego and their history and like how they almost went bankrupt mm -hmm. in, like a few like decades ago and how they hired this guy and he just like marketed the crap out of it and made it what it is today. And like, what, yeah. what's sorry? Yeah, I'm, my mind's going many different places. Yeah. What's the, what's that? Is that a gem? Yeah, it is, man. You yeah. know, the gem show is in February. We've talked about it to a few people. <laughs> Listen. There's a whole. Gr this how long? How long is this podcast going for now? Uh, you got nine minutes for a full episode. Okay, so there's a bunch of ladies and men, gentlemen too, but mainly ladies up in Fort Mac that are really into crystals and stones and gems and stuff. So yeah, I yeah. Told them I was coming down here because like I wear stuff, right? Bracelets and things, and they were just like, "Hey, listen, you should need to get a plane ticket to come down here for this gem and mineral show and fossils." Because I was chatting with a bunch of people. Oh yeah. That happens here. It's a big thing. It's like it's eleven the, days long. It's, it's the. Whole, you, biggest in the world yeah well, that's what they say yeah, yeah. I, I believe yeah. it yeah and then um, where you work I mean, there's like i mean well a museum yeah, yeah there's like a right museum there i would definitely check it out yeah, yeah. it's uh it's amazing yeah. as amazing as his belly yeah 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 <laughs> it's a good stomach it's a good stomach thanks yeah. for yeah anyway <laughs> No, uh, the gym show is awesome. It brings in a ton of people. Yeah. And then also, it's like, people love it. Yeah. People, I remember going as a, as a kid, and yeah. then taking my son has been fun, and yeah. like, it's it's just a blast. And plus, I mean, like, for the boys, it's like you get to see all the the fossils and all that stuff. That's and right. Then, That's right. And then for your, for the women, they yeah. love the the gems and That's the right. fossil That's or right. the gems and the stones and. That's right, man. It's gonna be cool. Well, so what is that? I got it. I don't know the exact name of it. It's in my phone, but it's supposed to help with communication in your voice. And just like it, it's a water stone, gives you good vibes, right? Right. So the black one. You are you are well pronounced. Thank you very much. So maybe maybe yeah. that helps. The the black one, like I don't know the names of them, but the black one is supposed to like not necessarily ward off negativity, but like suck it up. And mm -hmm. so I find like when I'm talking to people doing what I do, well, people get a little bit nervous, apprehensive sometimes. Right. So I'm just trying to put that vibe out there all the time of like, hey, it's all good, relax, we're just having a conversation. And so yeah, I'm into like the crystals and stuff and like I believe in 
what they potentially can offer and do for you. So yeah. if I can get a sponsor, I would love to come down for this mineral show and check out that. Yeah, well, what's there. so cool, so they have the main show, and then they have all these tents yeah. with all the, all these vendors from around the world. There's also, like, while you're in town, yeah. I would recommend going to some of these stores. Yeah. Because they, they, everyone started to come here, and then people started setting up shops right. and, yeah. and being <laughs> out. Yeah, so so I would, I would definitely, if, you, if you're into it, yeah. check, it check it out. out. Tacos and yeah. crystals. Crystals, man. there you go. And on that note, we're going to end it off. But before I cut you loose, everybody gets a shameless shout out or plug. So you have the mic, the camera, the lights. Have fun. So go ahead and follow us on Visit Tucson on our social channels, on Instagram, on Facebook. Don't really do Twitter. So really, Facebook, to oh, and TikTok. We started okay. a TikTok. Please follow us on TikTok. I need as many followers as possible on TikTok. There you go. Awesome. I only got, how many do you have on Not TikTok? Not very much. We're big on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah. Anyways, thanks, man. Appreciate your time today. Yeah, thanks. Everybody at home, once again, thank you for tuning in. This has been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. Big shout out to all our sponsors. We do appreciate your ongoing support. Thank you for tuning in today. It means the world to me, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. What a deadly old way to end another morning show. Later, boss. It's so ballistic! <laughs> Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. Really?